tables are presented in standard format so that they will be easy to read and easy to understand. At the top of a table, there will be a title. And so this will be a short phrase indicating the information the table or graph intends to convey. So the title of a table could be something like price of milk compared to demand, or in this case, the average income for varying education levels. So this right here is the title. So a table is composed of vertical columns and horizontal rows. And so the information is laid out in those columns and rows. So this table in particular has two vertical columns and five horizontal rows. So this right here is a column, all of this. And then this right here is a column as well. And then we have five rows. So this right here is a row. Now, the actual information is placed in what we call cells, which are the boxes you see here. And so we could identify a cell by saying the cell in the second column in the fifth row. So we would go to the second column, which is this column right here, and we would go down to the fifth row, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the, the cell in the second column on the fifth row. And so then there'd be information in that cell right there. And so right here we have two columns, and so those columns have to have labels. So we have education level and average income. So here we would have varying education levels, like no high school diploma, high school diploma, bachelor's degree, master's degree, doctorate, as well as associate's programs, whatever you wanted to put in there. And then you would have the average income to accompany each type of education level. And so I'm going to label this as well right here. That's a cell. All of these are cells. So this right here has 10 cells. And then remember that the rows, are, uh, the rows run horizontally and the columns run vertically. And then you also have a phrase indicating the information that the table intends to convey, and we just call that a title.